Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Moko. I haven't been making videos for a very long time. And uh, it's due to the uh, conversion of interest in games. I haven't been playing Payday very much. I'm uh, very, very disappointed in the game, I'd, uh, I'd say. But uh, because a lot of you want to see some uh, tutorials for the stealth videos, I decided, you know, why not? You guys are awesome. You're still following channel so i'll start uploading stuff videos tutorials so for today we're gonna go and venture in the golden green casino for this adventure you should need you know your basic normal stealth gear but i'd like to say that having camera loop is very helpful in uh, this heist because you're gonna be using it when retrieving archives some cameras like spot you no matter what so camera looping them helps a lot um but other than that you know just your regular stealth build i have a video that shows my stealth build so you can check it out and it shows my weapons and attachments so i don't want to waste your time so without further ado getting into the heist Okay guys, first we're gonna start with the pre-planning. This is what I go with. There's a lot of different ways, but for me this is what I find most effective. I like to have body bags in both restrooms. The reason why is because I like clearing this area over here from guards. This, this makes it easier for me to transition from right to left and left to right. Instead of having to walk like over from the front or like going upstairs somewhere. It's a lot easier to move through. Plus, you're going to be clearing the vault. It's over here in this area. And um, the vault, well, I mean, this is the uh, security access, but like you'll be moving from this area up to this area. So it'll make it easier for you to move the bags. Unless you're doing a pacifist challenge, then uh, good luck. So that's the body bags. Insider help, I like to go with everything. Um, I like to have to know where the guitar place is, you know, I like to have it here the guitar case um, Get the other keys open all the doors That's for the insider help now backup I go for heartbreak Annie because it ensures the laptop stays in this area here You know because if you don't get it Then the laptop can be in the bar somewhere else But if you have heartbreak Annie the laptop is gonna always be here. There's three laptops You're gonna have to be worrying about this one here and then there's one in the office it's gonna be somewhere here oh it should be here like somewhere at the management office yeah and then one in the um gym gym area so that's uh the laptops and last but not least the vault gate kit chain that's it now we uh get going It may take you a couple of tries doing this heist, like, if you're first starting. Because, like I said, there's a lot of civilians moving around, and sometimes spotting in this game is not spot on. See what I did there? <laughs> but yeah, uh, the civilians spot spot you from weird angles, guards spot you from weird angles. Sometimes it's an instant spot, so... We have a staircase here, it's good. Now you don't have to worry about alerting guards, of course. Uh, if you didn't know civilian mode, you can bump into them. But uh, once you take your mask, you have to be careful. Now, here I just take my gear. I don't worry about the sleeping gas for now. Where will he? Where did I? Where will he? Where, where will he? We're gonna worry about that later. Excuse me, sir. Going through. That's one of the motherfuckers. We're gonna take care of him later. We need the archives right now. Another one here. Now there's a theory that the purple purple shirt guy that we're gonna be I'm gonna just explain it later. But like basically later you're gonna have to be looking for a civilian either in a white shirt or a purple shirt. And uh basically there's a theory that the purple shirt guy is always on the right, the white shirt guy is always on the left. We're gonna test it out. Okay, it's going in. Nah. You can, of course, like, go around and not kill her, but there are some blind spots. 
that you can cuff the civilian yet, so you don't have to worry about her. Of course, we got lucky first try, so we don't have to worry about her. But yeah, if you don't like killing them, you can cuff her when she stands here. It's a blind spot. Uh, and uh, as a uh, regarding the camera loop that uh, I was talking about, how important it is. It's only for this uh, shelf here because. If you want to search those archives in here, uh, this camera is, will always spot you and there's no way to hide from it. So you're going to have to loop it. But like for, for this one here, for example, you can just hide behind the tray here. And uh, that's it for the... Uh, okay, we got lucky. First try. Moving on. This is the management office. I'll keep it open. Got it. You can take care of that motherfucker. This is why I like having a shoddy. You can have a main shoddy or a judge. I just like the judge because it looks like a pistol, so it doesn't take a lot of, you know, a lot of the screen. Okay, put the bag here. Watch out, there's a camera here and a camera in here, so watch out for where you put your bag. Now we gotta send the blueprint to Mr. Bane before he starts freaking out. Ah, uh, Gucci? Wow, I can't believe I said Gucci. So after getting the stick, I like having those elevators open so I can shoot guards in there when necessary. Saves me some time. Saves you body bags. Okay, so I, I like to grab a body bag on the way. Just, uh... Just in case, I'm gonna be mass murdering people. Here we go. Have the windows open and ready to jump through when I'm outside there. There we go. So you can just jump through this uh, the side here, or if you're too worried, you can go through the outside. But uh, generally, usually this is safe. Just gotta watch out for uh, civilians like that. And civilians coming from downstairs. Otherwise, you're fine. Okay, now we need to find the computer. There's, It can be either here. Or here. Or over there. Or in this room. Now this one is kind of uh, shitty, so like, once you put in the stick, she's gonna get freaked out, spot it. It's the, she's the only civilian that does that, so just tie her up and you should be fine. No need to move her or nothing, just cuff her. You'll be fine. Now to head back. Like I said before, watch out for the stairs. Civilian coming down can be very dangerous. They have crazy vision. Um, what you can do here is you can try to go through here. Just watch out for the bar lady, bar bartender. Uh, you can open this laptop. Just have it open. You don't need to look at the number. And you can see what bottle this is. So this is the demon one, the purple. Go out through here. No no civvies, we're good. See, this is why I was saying have the window open. Easy access. But now we took care of one laptop and we know if we need a purple bottle, we need to go there. If not, then we have to go somewhere else. Guard. Take it easy and slow. Like, don't rush things. Rushing things are, is only going to get you in trouble. Like, w waiting two, three minutes is better than, you know, risking it. There's, I mean, there was a chance of me being able to... This frog leap behind him, but like if I fuck up, then he's gonna spot me, so I'm not gonna take that risk. Okay, here's where we're gonna test the theory. Although I don't think it's true, but it may be. Oh, purple shirt, so we said right side, purple is right, so we'll see right side. Slut machine. Okay, there was a guard somewhere here. Oh, we didn't open the elevator over on this side, so 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and shoot him into the corner. The camera is facing a little bit to the right, thankfully, so that's why I got away with this one. With this shot. If the elevator was open, I shot him into the elevator. It's not, so. Open, throw the body bag, and close. And the purple lays on the, the right side. So there, this guard is usually stationary. He doesn't move. So just watch out for the head movement. When he's still or looking to the right, you can jump through. Okay, jumping through. Ah, and it's a purple bottle. So now we know where to go. See, this is why sometimes paying attention to it. What's around, you know. Paying attention to your surroundings is helpful. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the bottle. But before getting the bottle, we're going to get the sleeping gas to get it out of the way. Not worry about it again. Careful, there may be a guard over here! Oh god, there we go. That was very careless of me. And I picked the package instead of answering. Congratulations, you found it. Okay, that was pager number three. Not good. You you want to be careful because sometimes you get guard four guards at the back, so you got to be careful. You may need more. Oh. Let's throw it here. What's that shit? Another one over there, but we're gonna get that bottle. We don't care. I don't care. I love it. Okay. Alright for soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, this is why I say be patient. Like, I knew the guard was coming, but I got very impatient and I jumped. Luckily, I was able to react and keep him behind the pillar and uh, break line of sight. Okay. This guy. See? Like, what do you. Like, I mean. Come on, motherfucker. You're standing up. Oh, sorry for the language. Sorry, not sorry. Now we gotta go to Mr. Purple's table. Uh, slot machine. Now, lear learning how to frog leap is very helpful because it's basically sprinting while crouched. That's how it works. Oh god, there's a guy over here. Oh, so we're gonna take care of that motherfucker. That's my last pager. So now I can't kill anymore. No. Nope. Just birds. Let's put it here. It's a safe spot. Oh, now back to going to Mr. Purple. But so far, I've been right with this theory. Like, whenever I get a purple guy, it's always on the right. Whenever I get a white guy, it's always on, like, a white shirt guy. It's always on the left. Maybe it's luck, but now this is, like, the sixth time, and it's always worked. So we gotta go through here. We gotta put the bottle, and then go to the restroom. Add in here. Now, be warned, I'm gonna kill this guy, because I don't want to risk it. You can cuff him if you want, if you believe you can do it. Stealthily, but for me, I can't. He's gonna either come into the restroom or to the outside. It depends, so you gotta pay attention. Usually, you can see his outline, so. See, like you saw his outline, he's going outside. I don't want him to go outside. See, that was stupid and lucky. I should have been ready for it. I don't even know. See, the thing is with detection here, you have like a half a second to react. Like where there's no detection. I just stood in front of this guard and I shot him and he didn't see me. Because I just like took half a second to a second to, to do it. So be careful. Be careful. Playing all kinds of silly stunts right now. 
are still there, so we we gotta go to 103. We gotta go upstairs. Got the staircase here. You get civilians coming down those stairs, so always watch for them. You know, like peek. Peeky peeky. So far so good. Um they don't walk behind the pillar, so you can use a pillar to hide. One of those motherfuckers. So 103, and this is where we get rid of the security. Voila! No need to worry about cameras now. Now, just because there's no cameras doesn't mean you gotta be careless. There's still civilians walking around, so. Okay, safe so far, I think. This is where RNG comes into play. Like, someone could be coming through the, uh, out the corner and uh, screw you over, so. Oh, yeah. We'll go to the managers since we have it open. It's usually behind this painting. You can also loot this painting, so you can throw it in as well. And now for the lock picking. That's why I have lock picking as well as in the skills. Like I said, if you want to see my skill tree, you can see it in the uh, Big Bank video. I included my skill and my loadout so you can see what I use and what I don't use and why I use those things. I didn't want to put them like in every video, it'll be boring for you guys. So, there's some money here, you know, why not? This is the other briefcase. You don't need to worry about the number, like I said, so... I'm just gonna throw this into the delivery area. Because, like, look at me, I'm just, like, tilted to the side. And now we gotta go to the, uh... What is it? Storage room, I think? Nope. Oh, these are for the loud locker room. Watch out, guard. There's only one guard here. He used before, like when it first came out, he used to walk into that area, but now he doesn't. He just walks in front of it. That's about it. So now he's looking over there. I frog leap in there. <laughs> now there's a pattern for the lockers. I'm not. Since I don't play this game much anymore, I don't really know it. But, like, apparently there's only one locker you gotta open. To, to get, like, in each, uh, on each side to get the laptop. So, like, for example, if you open this and the laptop is not here, it's not on this side. You gotta, you just move to the other side. I just, well, thank you, phone. There we go. And that's all the briefcases. And this is why you silent your phone when uh, doing shit. Okay, gotta be careful for the guard. Thank God for this body thingy. I can jump behind him here. It's stupid, but you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Now it's just a matter of waiting. You know, you got everything cleared. You gotta disable the lasers. Code. And, uh, open the book. Beautiful iceberg. Lock! Open. Con. Not 35 seconds. I've fallen so many times off this elevator, so. Nobody can see me. Look at Elvis, motherfucker.
Oh man, they need better cameras. Two oh one mobile. Go down here. Oh god. Yeah, careful. Sprinting on stairs here it can kill you. It, 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 if it was uh, <laughs> if I sprinted longer, I would have died. Nine two. Nine. Two. Enter. There we go. He tells you the code, so don't need to memorize it. Just pay attention to him. Now this is gonna be where the uh, what's his name? The dentist shebang. So I'll just put a drill. You know, you want any extra loot? You have the key, uh, the the keys to the cage doors. There's a lot of bags. If you're gonna go with all the bags, there's a lot of bags. They still didn't fix this bug where the uh, doors sound like drills. That's very overkill like. You gotta go, it's, it's uh, not important, you know? I'm not gonna take everything. I'm just gonna move bags while we wait for the drill, you know, just uh But like you can take everything You can move the bags easily now since we cleared the back. There's a lot of money bundles over here as well See like all this You can just sit here like spam F. Oh, give me all that money Is it but as you can see it's a very straightforward uh, heist. It's not that complicated just got to be careful sometimes because you could run into uh, guards or civilians in corners. Okay, that thing is done, so I'll just uh, go through. Now, the laser, you're just going to have to wait for the pattern. It, luckily, it's not that fast. It's slow. So once you see there's a gap, you can go through, see, easily. Just stand next to the wall. Watch out for the lasers. Get room. Oh, bam. That's it. It's, it's so easy. It's so easy. Unlike the big bank one. The big bank one is a lot quicker, so you gotta be extra careful if you're playing on Death Wish. Or you can turn them off with a key card, so whichever works better for you. But, like, for an achievement, I think you gotta be doing them with the laser on and throwing the bags through the... Put everything on the elevator, lift, whatever. All them bigs. Hey guys, I'll see you at the top. You know, gotta be down here just in case this happens, you know? It would be the dentist's loot. Thanks, game. Ah. <sighs> Good to see a lot of bugs haven't been fixed. See, but like I said, since we cleared this area, we can walk uh, with no problems. You can even like th th throw bags like this. La 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 la. Bag moving simulator. Now, with microtransactions. Okay, there we go. I'm not good. Like I said, I'm not going to move all the bags because you don't want to see like 10 minutes of bag moving. I mean, you just want to see the heist, right? You want to see it done. Does it, right? Does it? Uh, just a couple of bags for all you... Uh, Bag moving lovers. Give you some action, you know? Like, oh yeah, take that bag. Oh, yeah, throw it. Throw it. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Kobe, right in. Oh, they're on the, oh my goodness, you're a natural. Oh, yeah. It, oh, 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 oh my god. What's up, man? I missed two? 
Wow. I'm really rusty. But that's it. That's the Golden Cream Casino, basically. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Uh, sorry for not making a lot of videos. It's been uh, busy for me. We got married and all that, so... Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see anything else, uh, another tutorial, any other game, uh, please put it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, thanks guys and uh, have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is.